greatest experience of all. Hi, this is Dave, host of the show, Have You Experienced Jesus? Hope you enjoyed last week the question of who is God. This week is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be the question is, if you died tonight or today, where would you go, heaven or hell? So you're going to see a lot of different ideas of LDS, as well as Christians sharing their ideas, what's going to happen to them after they die, where their spirit goes. Very interesting. I, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I do want to share one little quick thing, and that is uh, while I was going to interview um, many different faiths, I actually had the opportunity to meet with a homeless person who was at 600 North, or her name was Michelle, and she received Christ at that moment. And the show is Have You Experienced Jesus? So we certainly want you to experience what happened with Michelle. I hope you enjoy the show. Hi, this is Michelle. What a beautiful uh, person who's here on the street trying to get some money to go back to New Mexico. Is that true? Yes. Yep. Okay. She had some uh, some pain in her leg and we had the, the opportunity to give her a, a blessing in, in that swollen area. Uh, we know that Jesus lives and he and he alone has the power to, to heal. The question I have for you is, um, have you ever experienced Jesus? I haven't really. You haven't really experienced him? Mm -mm. Do you know that he loves you? I do. <laughs> do you know that how you do you know how you experience him? How you experience him is that you put your your faith and your trust in him and him alone for your salvation. Meaning that we were all sinners and he came down as God in flesh to pay for your sin. Because because we are filthy rags, meaning we're condemned by sin, that it's impossible for us to be with God because God is without sin. So he's pure and we're unpure. So God came down as, in flesh as Jesus to be able to save us so that we can have purity, we can have righteousness through our belief in him. That's what he did for us. That's the gift of the save, uh, the gift of grace. So it saves us because it's a free gift to all of us. So we have that free gift of, of his unconditional love and how we uh, experience Jesus is that we put our faith and our trust in what he did on the cross for you. So are you a believer in the sense of, of what he did for you on the cross? Yes. So do you absolutely confess that with your mouth that you believe that he did that for you and you alone? Yes, I do. And that, and that the sin that you had, the sin that you had, um, he paid for it. Yes. And that do you believe also that, that he resurrected and now we have a new life, meaning we can have eternal life with him because now that you are faithful? Yes. Exactly. You believe that? Yes. You believe in that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, because you confess that with your mouth, now you are a born-again believer of Him. And because that you have had that experience, you are now saved. You could trust your life with Him now. And, and because you confessed it with your mouth. In Romans 10, 9, it says that when you confess with your mouth and believe that what He did for you, that you are now saved. How does it feel to be knowing that you now, no matter what you do in your life, you'll be with him and you'll be in heaven right now Actually, because you did really it. great. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It does. So yes, it does. that's the beginning of your walk with Jesus. That's the, the, the beginning of your, your faith, your walk in faith now that you have with Jesus. So this is the most important thing that you've been born again today because you confess with his mouth, your mouth, that you believe in him for all your sins. Praise God for that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Praise God. And because of your belief now, you go and help others. Is there any other issues that you have with you? Are, are you involved in any addicted things? No, I'm just trying to get home. <laughs> really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you're with someone right now, uh, someone to help you out, another person? Mm -hmm. You're just by yourself? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Do you go to the shelter a lot? No, it's it's way too scary. <laughs> okay, so where do I you get, sleep? And, um, grassy areas. Really? And you've been doing this for how long now? Kids. How many? A couple months. A couple months. What were you doing before this? I had a place and a job and I just lost everything. I'm so sorry. So you were on your own for a number of years. Yeah. And this just happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has. I'm just trying to get home. <laughs> okay. But what you see here is 
there are unfortunately, you know, people have hard situations and and they go through these these type of milestones in their lives, and and it really is um, is a hardship for many people. So it gives you an understanding that a lot of these people who are here need help. We're here to help them and try to bless their lives. And I hope and pray that you can you can do this for yourself and experience uh, these these people um, and and give them a helping hand in whatever way you can. Praise God for you, Michelle. We will be helping you. But um, uh, it was a joy to just to share this this message of salvation with yeah, you. Thank you so much. You bet. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right, Jim. Um, thank you for stopping. Your LDS. Yes. Okay. And we have a question today, and the question is: If you died tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? I hope for heaven. You hope for heaven. Yes, and I think that's where I'll end up. I hope so. So if you automatically died, like let's say half an hour from now your spirit would go directly to heaven. You believe that? Uh, we believe that there is a spirit world prior to the judgment after death. So when we die, there's a place that we call paradise or spirit paradise or spirit prison, which is a temporary state until the resurrection occurs. And we believe the resurrection is when the body and the spirit are reunited again okay. for forever and then you will go to heaven or hell and we believe in three heavens okay there are the celestial kingdom which is the the least of the of the kingdoms of glory the terrestrial kingdom and celestial kingdom okay so you highest. believe in three sort of different heavens yes so when you're thinking about three different heavens who are the people who go to because as, as christians we believe that there's just heaven or hell uh -huh. that we're with god the father god the son god the holy spirit or we're with Satan, <laughs> right? right? So it's it's really based upon those two, um, I guess, glories. If you, it's uh -huh. not hell is certainly not a glory, but you know, in the sense of heaven being the only glory. So why do you come up with um, these other ideas? Well, um, I believe it's in Corinthians where Paul talks about uh, bodies uh, being celestial, bodies that are terrestrial, and bodies celestial, and that's where that teaching comes from that's in the Bible. Actually, uh, just for you, I just want to make sure that the audience understands that too. Paul doesn't talk about telestial. He talks about terrestrial bodies and celestial bodies. There's no telestial there. Oh, okay. So, so that's just for you to understand. Okay. All right. Then in, in what we call and consider modern scripture, um, we are taught about the telestial kingdom, the and this is scripture that has come through Joseph Smith, yep. who we hold to be a, a, found, a restoring prophet. Yep. Um, so there's a, t a celestial kingdom, terrestrial kingdom, and celestial kingdom. Yeah. As okay. That's the highest. So and yes, we, we, we believe in, in hell. Um, we believe that hell is um, for the worst people uh, that will always be with Satan. Um, we've we have a term for that we call it outer darkness okay also and and that would be a permanent resting or permanent state for people okay. that were completely evil but we don't believe that um all people even even sinful people will all eventually except for these these very bad ones um will eventually after paying for their own sins in hell in the spirit the spirit world what we call spirit prison after paying for those sins because they didn't accept the atonement of Jesus Christ that they will then bow their knees and confess that Jesus is the Christ okay and that Got it. Um, and then they will receive a glory whether it be it would probably be celestial or terrestrial okay so when you're looking at people who have are believers outside of the LDS faith and they put all their faith and trust in Jesus and when they make the claims based upon biblical understanding where Paul tells us that through our faith we are saved and we're going to be with with God um, after we die. Uh -huh. When you think about heaven and, and you think about God, just for the understanding of God, because He is without sin. He is right. pure. Right. And so when we think of heaven as Christians, we believe automatically we are without sin. And so that, that entrance in heaven is an automatic state. I mean, so is it is it an understanding that you guys I guess just don't you believe in the spirit prison you don't believe that we're with God at all after we die we're just in a prison uh, is that correct there's until the judgment uh, yes there's two places for spirits to go one is spirit prison those that have not accepted Jesus but Christ. God's not there yet I guess right uh, 
God, yes, we don't. He doesn't believe, rain in He Spirit doesn't Prison. dwell there. Okay. Yes. So we're basically by ourselves, pretty much. Yes, we're with with family members and those that it's we like love. It's like a waiting and sort of yes. area. Yes, and it, 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 it we believe that 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 um, will be a temporary state. It okay. will not be forever. It could and be many, the many years, right? It, we believe that the judgment does not occur precisely upon death, but it will occur after because we believe that. Those that were um, not faithful or not okay. tr Christian in and, and didn't accept Christ will have an opportunity to do so after they die. Okay. So as far as Christians, then when we came out and we declare that we're we're going to be in heaven, that means we are already prejudged. We already judge because if we're with God, we are with God in heaven. Mm -hmm. Then God doesn't usually kick us out. I I wouldn't imagine him kicking no, us out and said, no. "Hey, you're with me," and then nah. Uh, Later on, yeah. you know, I'm going to judge you. So, so that's a kind of a, a strange concept for LDS people, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, I guess we would say that right after death, we don't arrive right with okay. with God at, right. the, at, that, at that immediate state. But yes, we do believe that that we will dwell with God the Father and with Jesus Christ um, in the celestial kingdom. Okay. And the celestial kingdom is not about faith. I heard that in your faith, it's more uh, believe it's you have to do work, certain works to get to be with God yeah, the Father. Is that correct? Yeah, as James said, faith without works is dead. Yeah. And we believe a hundred percent in being saved by grace and accepting Jesus Christ and being baptized and yeah. following and keeping his commandments. But we do believe that those people that do not sin and do that do sin and do not repent will you know, have to go through this hell-like state okay. in the spirit world, spirit prison, until they accept that Jesus is the Christ. Okay. Well, great. I appreciate your, your honesty on that. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. All right I just met a, um, a Christian from Kansas City. Correct. Right? Now, Correct. You're, what church do you go to? I go to a church called Christ Fellowship. Okay. Great. Yeah. So it's a non-denominational? It's technically a Baptist church. We have seven home churches around the Kansas City metro area. Oh, okay, great. Well, the question we, we stop and, and talk to a lot of different people of different faiths. The question we have today for the show is this, is if you died tonight, sure. where would you go? To heaven or hell? I would go to heaven and be with my father. You would be? Correct. Okay, is that what you believe? Why do you believe that? Um, I believe that for a number of reasons. Um, my ultimate hope is in the fact that Jesus Christ came and died, and my sins were nailed to the cross when he died. I take on his righteousness, and he takes on my sin. Um, so I'm therefore justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. So you're made innocent. I am made innocent. I'm counted righteous okay. based upon Jesus' blood. And that automatically uh, gives you the entrance of, of heaven. Um, absolutely. It makes me justified before God, as if I am entirely righteous before God. Okay. Well, that's terrific. So now, in your view, there's other views that have all these different types of levels. Uh, what do you say of those type of individuals who have different views and different ideas of heaven or spiritual prison or, or another place where it doesn't seem very secure? Sure. Well, number one, as far as number of levels, when you look at the judgment passages, 15, 20 judgment passages in the scripture, there's clearly only two options. When you die, you will either be judged and go to heaven with your father or go to hell. So you're judged when you die then? You are judged when you die. Okay. Um, so as far as multiple locations, it's just entirely foreign to the gospel. Um, as far as, I guess I don't know exactly exactly what else to address other than multiple levels is yeah. entirely absent from the scripture. So you be with God the Father, God the Son, God the, the Spirit because of your faith and your belief in him, knowing that he paid the work for you and through through that trust and that hope that you'll be with them automatically. Correct. And actually a, a really important scripture in that regard is John 14 too, um, oftentimes used to describe these multiple levels. But in reality, John 14 too is um, a passage where Jesus is comforting his disciples. And he says, I'm going to my father's house. And then the King James Version says, and we'll have build many mansions. Yes. Um, this is a um, this is a glorious passage that represents how marriage happened, and the in the Jewish day, when they were betrothed, the man would go to his father's house, would build a room, come get his bride, and bring her back. It's a gloriously hopeful event um, that okay. makes it clear that I will be with the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. All right.
Well, thanks so much for your comment. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Scott, and uh, you're a Christian, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where do you um, where do you attend church? Uh, and uh, we live about an hour from Seattle, Washington, in Kingston, Washington. Okay. So do you go to a Baptist church, a non-denominational Catholic? Non-denominational. It's called okay. Kingston Christian Church. Great. Awesome. Well, Scott, I have a question. The question for the week is, if you died, let's say in the next couple hours, if you just had a massive heart attack and you died, as a Christian, where would you go? What do you believe? Heaven or hell? Oh, heaven. I believe I'd be with Jesus. Yeah. You'd be with Jesus? Oh, yes. Why do you believe that? Well, the Bible says that there's, as we read through scripture, it says this is a promise that you know you can have eternal life. And so I, I believe I have an assurance of that based on God's word and, and what he's promised me. So I place my faith in him and I know it's totally a gift that salvation was given to us, the offer of it, and Great. I've accepted it. So how do you receive this as salvation? How do I receive it? Yeah. Uh, just by acknowledging. The Bible says if you uh, just believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. If you believe, you confess it with your mouth that you know, you'll be saved. Great. So, so then once you die, you're already judged, I guess, right? Because you automatically go to heaven and you're with God. Yeah. It's appointed unto man once to die. After that, there's a judgment. It says so in Hebrews. So believe the Bible and teachings of the Bible. Yeah. So you're automatically judged after you die. You, you're with God. Yes. Okay. That's it. You heard it from a, a great Christian. Scott, I appreciate your comments. Okay. Hey, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. All right, I'm here now with Daniel and Trevor, right? Yes, sir. All right, where are you guys from? I like Elsinore, California. All right, why are you guys here? Uh, I'm just here to spread the love of Jesus. All right, Sorry, sounds great. Friends. All right. Well, we have a question today on, t on our show, mm -hmm. and the question for the week is, if, if you died, let's say at this moment, mm -hmm. as a Christian, where would you go? Heaven or hell? In the arms of the Father, Heavenly Father, heaven. So are you already prejudged, and as soon as you die, you, you automatically go to heaven? I might go to heaven, yes. Wow. Okay. Can you, do you have any scriptures to validate that? Uh, scriptures are that when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he washes clean, uh, white, white as snow, right? So we go directly to him. And it's a gift. It's, he gave it to us. He paid for it. We accepted it. We took it. That's it. All right. So just that and that alone makes you get into heaven. Sure. And what do you do after that, though? After you accept him, you continue to do what? Well, the, we'll know us by our fruits. Yeah. So our works, of course, are, are applicable, but they're not necessary to get into heaven. Great. But they are definitely a, um, you know, a byproduct of knowing and having the gift of Jesus. Got it. And do you believe the same? Yes, sir. Exactly, right? Exactly. Okay, well, you heard it here today. <laughs> All right, here we have before me is Andrew and Nathan. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys from? Uh, Kingston, Washington. All right. Both? Yeah. Are yeah. you brothers? Um, no, we're not brothers, but we go to the same church. You go to the same church. Are you guys non-denominational, Baptist? Non-denominational. All right, great. Well, we have a show called Have You Experienced Jesus? And so the question for the week is, is if you die tonight, you guys are Christian, you're believers of Jesus, mm -hmm. right? If you die tonight, uh, where would you go after you died? Heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven? Heaven, yeah. So automatically you get to heaven? Oh, for sure, yeah. So you don't have to be judged at all? No. You're already judged, I guess, yes. right? Now, how does that happen? Um, when I put my faith in Jesus, uh, he washed me clean, and I have faith that I'll go to heaven with him because he promised in the Bible. Okay. So when you put your faith in him, automatically he washes you clean. You become what? Righteous? Right. Yes. Because, because if you didn't believe in Jesus, what would have happened? I mean, I would... Be filthy, right? Yeah, be filthy, right? Yeah, would be filthy. I mean, he, he couldn't even, like, be around me. Okay. You know? So that's what it, it takes in order to get to heaven. Right. To really put your heart, faith, and belief, and then you're born again. and Yes. Covered with his... Blood. His blood. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your comments. Yeah. All right. In front of me, I have Sarah and Nicole, right? <laughs> Sarah and Nicole. <laughs> oh, Sarah and Nicole. Okay, great. No problem. Hey, today's question topic is if you guys died tonight as a believer you, you folks are LDS right yes. yes as a believer in the LDS faith where would you go would you go to heaven or would you go to hell who wants well, to answer <laughs> we believe in a lot more than just heaven and hell like there's three different levels of heaven so you know I would hope that I'd at least go to one of the three levels of heaven <laughs> yeah I guess okay. I'm not I'm not really sure I don't have any fear of going to hell I know that God is just and I'll go where I'm supposed to go but I don't I'm not I know I won't go to hell I don't okay. I haven't been judged yet so but 
<laughs> All right. So the Bible tells us that if you put your faith and your belief and you confess with your mouth and you're saved by Jesus and is what he did on the cross, then you automatically get into heaven, meaning that as in the Bible, meaning that you would be with God. Right. Do you believe that you would be with God if you died tonight? Yes. Yes. You'd be with God? Yes. Would it be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, or or someone else? Uh, all, all three, three of them. All different, three of them? Yes. Different personages. Okay. Well, the Holy Ghost isn't a person, but three well, he's, different. He's a, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, yeah. the Holy Spirit is a personage of spirit, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So that's what, that's what you believe? Yes. So you're with God, God the Father then, God the Son, after you die? Yes. yes. You're already judged. We're already judged. You're already judged. Well, we're you're going to be yet, with them. I know, I know that I'll that I'll meet them. Yes. I don't know. I think ultimately, eventually, I will end up with them for eternity. I'm not sure exactly what happens along the way. I don't know if I have. I don't know if there is an answer in the church, but I know I right now don't have a good enough understanding. <laughs> okay. So. Well, just just for you guys to know, I mean, I interviewed a number of people. Christians believe that what the Bible says that once you do die and you have your faith and you've been sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise, meaning God, in you, that that automatically you get into heaven, that you're with God. You're already judged when that occurs. Isn't that? Do you like that idea better? <laughs> um, it's interesting. <laughs> is it? Okay. I don't know. I mean, I I have no fear of dying. I have no good. concerns or worries. I know that if I live the best I can, I know that. I'll, you know, God will judge me however he sees fit and I feel comfortable knowing that I'll be happy in heaven, whatever okay. that means to whoever. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your comments. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. All right, before me I have Robert. You're a Christian, you're a believer, right? Yes, sir. Jesus? Yes, sir. All right, the question I have for you today is if you die tonight, where would you go as a believer in Jesus? Heaven or hell? Heaven. Why is that? Because the Bible promised me that the Lord will give me eternal life if I believe and trust in Him. 1 John 5, 13 and Hebrews 10, 14. Is there anything else you have to do? Just believe and then you get eternal life? Believe it or not, all I have to do is trust Christ and that's it. So are right. you prejudged? As, as soon as you die, you're automatically judged and go to see, go to be with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit? Yes, actually. Automatically, you're in the presence of them. Yes. Less, less time than the blinking of an eye, of my eyes. Yes. That fast. The Bible tells us so. Yes. All right. it, it implies, Hebrews 9.27 says, it's appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So it's a kind of a mystery, but there's also a first uh, Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, thereabouts, uh, to be absent for the body. And the Apostle Paul said, I would rather, willing rather to be absent for the body and to be present with the Lord. So there's an implication that it's instantaneous upon our death. And does that happen because we're automatically sealed to Him? Yes. Okay. It's a Mormon word, but yes, we are sealed. And we're sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise in Ephesians 1.13. <laughs> there you go. Yes, All right, sir. you heard it. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Hi, this is Dave. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Certainly different perspectives on different ideas and different views. With the LDS view, after you die, what happens? You have paradise in spirit prison. You, res you reside in a holding area, holding tank, if you will. God's not really there for you, and then you wait for the judgment as well as the resurrection. On the Christian side, we believe that once you put your faith, trust, and hope in, in Jesus, that this actually is an experience where you get the right to go to heaven because you're with God. Now, I want you to think about that just for one second because this is really important for you to think. Now, if you as a believer believe that God now dwells in you, and then he's, the Holy Spirit is in you, and you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, that, that the Holy Spirit is there because of your faith, and, and, and the Bible teaches us that. Now, we are children of God. If you really, really believe that, then do you believe that when we die, and if we continue with our faith, this Holy Spirit, God goes this way, and we go this way? Because that's kind of strange to think of that. Because I know in John 10, Jesus says that no one will snatch me out of your, out of my hands, you know, and that's an important thing. We are connected as a godly, spiritual human being. God is in us, and we are in Him. So He doesn't just separate. We don't believe that. The Bible doesn't teach us that. So what I want to share a couple scriptures on that. Hebrews 9:27. It says, "And as it is." Appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. We believe there is a judgment after we die. 
That's what we believe. And 2 Peter 3, 7 says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved by the same word, are reserved for fire until the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Those people who are non-believers, who are not connected to God, are ungodly men. Those who are believers are godly, godly men, not ungodly men. So believers are godly people, and we are connected with God. So that's how we are saved, because we trust his work, not our works. And those people who are ungodly are going to be judged by their works. And so we are going to be judged by his work. And his work made us righteous. We are covered by his blood. Romans 5, 9 says, Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Through him, we are saved. We are made innocent. We are justified. We are not guilty. We are not condemned. We are made righteous with him. That's how God views us. And 2 Corinthians 5, 8 says, We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. So when we're, when we're, when we're dead, absent from the body, we go right to the Lord. Praise God for that. That's the show. I hope it gives you further understanding. You could certainly look up those scriptures for yourself. And oh, one other thing, financially, if you want to donate, I need some help right now. Um, people are becoming connected to Christ through the show and being saved. And so if you want to contribute, please go to my set, a website, um, haveyouexperiencedjesus.com and donate. And if you do $50 or more, what I'll do is I'll provide a free t-shirt and it's Have You Experienced Jesus. Jesus. I'll send it to you. Just give me your, your sizes and let me know and I'll be glad to send uh, you one. So have you experienced Jesus.com. Go to it and donate $50 or more. Thanks for watching so much and God bless and remember God loves you.